What's up, guys? We're live. Welcome to the live stream. If you're not watching live, stay tuned. Keep watching. We're going to talk about the RV that we're, we might be picking up tomorrow. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty Gaming. We're talking about uh, where we're going to be snowboarding next because we have to make that shift. We now have to ride somewhere else. Uh, as well as uh, I introduce, I'm introducing something super cool, and I'm probably going to talk about it uh, now on the live stream. And I hope you guys are super stoked and excited. Of course, uh, L Stacker's here and R Star. It's Bicorn is here. Ark is here, who's been supporting. I mean, all these guys have been supporting the insane fifty fifty gaming um, experience. But uh, we've been gaming with Ark a bunch as well as we jumped on Fortnite with R Star yesterday, and she was killing it. Roscoe is here. Um, Henry, how we doing? Gabby, what is up? This is your second live stream in a, in a row, I think. And then Caden is here. He was on the live stream yesterday. We So we went live with 50 Gaming yesterday, and we got 20 subscribers on our live stream. So thank you to everyone that subscribed to our Twitch channel, 50 50 Gaming. Uh, super stoked uh, if you guys do that. And then T-Sing says, RV shopping? Question mark. Yeah, so uh, I don't think it's still on the list. Where is that thing at? So the main goal, Roman started playing with it, and it's basically gibberish now. Uh, the bottom big goal, uh, main, it says main goal, it's hard to see, main goal, buy a 16 foot camper. This was our season four goals. We got the 900, we got, uh, to Telluride, we didn't get to Jackson Hole or Purgatory, um, or Whistler. A lot of those trips didn't happen because the world shut down, but we started crushing a lot of the stuff off this list. Like I said, Roman got his little fingers to it. Um, but season four, main goal, buy a 16 foot camper. Well, the camper we want is actually bigger than 16 feet, it's 21 feet. Um, and, uh, we're going to an RV park tomorrow to check it out. And it, this is, this means the world to me because once again, I wrote it down at the beginning of this season and I was like, main goal of the channel is to get a camper because summer content is hard. It's really hard to find content that people are going to continue watching in the summer, being able to continue to make uh, income and a living during the summer because um, we have crazy mad support during the winter, which is so awesome. I'm so thankful, but we're a snowboard channel primarily, and we are a snowboard channel, uh, but it's John the Buckhouse, John the Buckhouse vlogs, I guess. So uh, we, we do other things as well as snowboard. Um, and in order to be able to go and make like wakeboarding content and able to go to Mount Hood, which Oregon is just now opening. We'll get to that. Oregon has uh, said that the, all the ski resorts can open up now in Oregon, um, which is which I'm super hyped on. Um, words are hard, sorry. But being able to go to Oregon and and, and be there with my family because I have a son, I have a wife, so be able to do all of that stuff, guys. I I, we, I need to be able to bring them and getting a camper is the the best route to do that. So the main goal at the beginning of the season was get a camper so we can have six summer content. So have a killer winter so we can get the camper. And we did that. We accomplished it. We can get a camper. Uh, we just got to find the right camper. We got to find the right price. And it's because of you guys, everyone dropping super chats in these videos, everyone tagging merch, everyone just supporting the dream is why the dream is happening. And, and it'd be so sick to wrap it. That's something I have talked about, but like just, it be, it, it's just, it's going to be a character in the vlog. It's going to allow us to make more content, better content. And that's the whole goal um, is to just keep evolving, get better and better and better. So I'm so hyped on the camper. Uh, we're going down to Denver to check out a bunch of camp campers. Uh, Kevin, what's up? It's by course. I just got the notification. What's up guys. What's up, dude. Any snow in um, Idaho L stacker, right? Let's know what's, what's the, what's up L stack. Where's the snow at Austin, dude. What is up? Sorry about the shredding. Uh, Drew says, what's up? Peter's here. How we doing? Mason, what's up, man? Uh, got your face sticker on, or get your face stickered on the new RV. Kevin, that'd be super funny. We, uh, I would love to get the full evolution on the side of the RV. That could be insane. My computer is like a little frozen. Uh, Catman says, what, what are RV shopping? What? is RV shopping. An RV is like a little trailer you pull behind your car and you camp in like a camper. You know what I'm saying? So hyped on the subscription. Caden, dude, so hyped you are subscribed. 50 Gaming is so fun. Dude, Sean Roman, how we doing, man? 
Uh, it's Bycorn says, do you want to play Fortnite with me sometimes? Yeah, dude. We uh, played Fortnite with a bunch of you guys uh, yesterday, which was a ton of fun. Uh, we're gonna, we got to practice some Fortnite because we were rusty. Even though we got, we're super rusty, we did get second one game, which was sick. Uh, Logan says, bro, where are we? Uh, no, he said, bro, where are we going to get some Warzone dubs? Got a, got my first or my 21st last night. Logan, dude. Yeah, dude, we got to get some, some Warzone dubs. I still only have one win, which is a, is a super lame. But, dude, stoked that you're out there killing it, Logan. Uh, getting those those Warzone dubs. We gotta get some. Can I game with you all on my PS? Uh, Russell, you can play on your P uh, your PlayStation if you uh, on Warzone and and Fortnite. Yeah, we we were we've been cross platform playing anyway. We can only play cross platform right now because Tommy doesn't have um, an Xbox. So I'm playing on uh, Xbox. He's playing on a PC. So we are. Um, we can only play cross-platform games. Sorry, I had to... My screen was frozen. Even though I'm not watching myself on my computer, I read the chat, but, like, having me, like, in a circle spinning, it was just, just throwing me off. So where were we in the chat? Uh, Beardy Mountain Bike says, Yo, what up? What's up, dude? How we doing? I'm about to... I was thinking about going mountain biking uh, this morning. I thought about it for a second. Could be cool. Um... Uh, Austin says main goal. Ew. Ew. What towing capacity is on the FJ? The FJ can pull 5,000 pounds. Bearded mountain bike was close. He said 6,500. Uh, my FJ can pull 5,000 pounds. So, uh, maybe the newer ones can pull a little bit more, but yeah, 5,000. So that means we can pull a 21 foot trailer with like confidence. So I'm hyped on that. I was like, let's cannonball that like button. Let's go. We have nine or 28 people watching, 19 likes. We got to get that up. Oh, Val's got to leave. He's got to do homework, dude. Bummer, you still got score to do, dude. Uh, kill it, though. Do, 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 do. Breezy, dude. How we doing, man? And Savage is here. Savage, man. How you been? Oh, I lost the chat. Do, 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 do. Is the Tommy Johnny is is this the Tommy Johnny stream? Nathan, I me and Tommy totally both forgot. I forgot we're supposed to stream with Tommy today. That's gonna have to be next week. Streaming with Tommy next week because I forgot to do it this week, and um, we're we're gonna be out of town on Sunday. We're still gonna go live, but we will be out of town on Sunday. Oh, dude, Sean Roman says he loves the 5050 gaming logo. Dude, if I had my phone, I have my phone. If I wasn't on my phone, which I got to kill this um, this glare. Uh, if I if I had my phone, we have a new, like, thing to add to 5050 gaming as well. I'm so hyped. My buddy, Steven, who is my graphic designer, design, has been designing all that stuff. Dude, he killed the banner for 5050 gaming. I'm so bad with curtains, my wife kills me. Oh, look it. Bobby brought it up. This is our 50-50 gaming. Does it not Does it your phone? What? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Look at that banner for 50-50 gaming. It's so fire. He killed it. That's Tommy's head and it says killing it and mine has the evolution logo the gaming channel is so fun right now i'm not gonna lie we're having a blast streaming one day a week for you guys every wednesday thank you for coming and hanging out with us literally like it's cool because like the channel is stuck in limbo so we have the this month we're at a negative eight subscribers for the last 28 days so we're like losing subscribers. We're not gaining subscri subscribers. So everyone watching the videos are literally just you guys that are subscribed. So thank you, thank you so much for still watching, still supporting, um, making this whole thing possible. I've never hit a spot where there's been zero like negative growth. Like we are losing more subscribers than we're gaining. Um, but to have 50-50 gaming um, continue to grow, continue to do well is exciting as a content creator. Not saying that I, I get burnt out or I get bummed. Like, I'm like, oh, my channel's not growing. It is hard when you, like, put your soul and energy into, into something 
and it feels like it's stuck and you can't move it no matter what you try or do. Um, that's frustrating. But to then pivot and be like, yo, like I'm also going to do another thing on the side that will help this all move together still. Um, and that starts crushing it and doing really well. That's really good. That's, it's really cool. And it makes me feel good as a content creator that, um, still creating something that people love and enjoy and it has growth and it has momentum. Um, cause once the momentum stops, it's, it's hard to build it back up. And dude, Austin dropped the $2, $2. I love it. It's a $2 chat and he just goes $2. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kenny and Austin have those like iconic donations where they don't say anything. Kenny drops a dollar, just a dollar. Austin drops two dollars and just puts the two bucks. Like, dude, Austin, thank you for the super chat. Uh, helps out a bunch. <laughs> Logan goes PC master race, dude. You guys love the PCs, which is fine. I know people game on the PCs. Gaming PCs are like the way to go, but the the playing with your home, it's it's easier to get an Xbox at the moment. Me and Tommy both get Xboxes, and then we can go. Uh, play a bunch of old school games and stuff that already exist. That's just a little easier right now. Austin says, make sure you get the biggest fridge you can get in an RV and lots of storage. Bobby already called out the lots of storage one. Like I found a, I found a camper that was like, oh, this one's really good. Whatever. And she's like, that is not enough storage. Not that one. No storage. Not that one. There's she, no storage. No storage. She put her foot down. She's like, we're not getting that one. Austin, dude, thanks for the tips on the RV. We're really excited for it. We're it's a big purchase. And like I'm excited because it's like, yo, we'll get the RV. We we accomplish a goal in the channel, like what we said we want to do, what we're where we're going. But it's still a big, it's a big purchase. And um obviously the way the world is right now, nothing is like foreseeable or I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But could be really cool, could really work out. Savage said, uh, good, very good, especially since you are doing a stream. Savage, let's go. Happy that you're doing great, buddy. Um, Spicy Chicken Nugget says, hi. What up, Spicy Chicken Nugget? <laughs> El Zacher, uh, is the legend Tommy from 5050 Gaming? Dude, I think that is Tommy from 5050 Gaming. That dude is sick. Should check out his YouTube channel. He's posting blogs this summer. Uh, Alexander said, you should go mountain biking tomorrow. I rode 17 miles yesterday after work. It's a great workout. That is an insane workout. 17 miles? That's a, that's a big one. I think you can do a loop from Breck. That's close to 17 miles. Um, dude, you killed it. No time tomorrow since we're RV shopping, but we'll be busting the mountain bike out soon. I don't really, like, I, we're still going to snowboard, guys. Like, there's still tons of snow up here. Just because it melted in Tommy's backyard doesn't mean it melted it all up at the tops of the mountain. We're, we will pivot, and we're going to uh, continue snowboarding. And I'm so excited to keep bringing you guys snowboard content. Uh, Bearded Mountain Bike says, mountain bike for the win. Dude, I'm excited for this summer's mountain bike content. I have a biking video coming out that I think some of you might be hyped on. Which is, like, the new point. So something... We're, you guys are going to start seeing on this channel, and it's not a big deal. It's kind of just a title change, I guess. Um, but we were already planning on doing this, and we um, kind of were waiting for Roman to hit the appropriate age. But we're going to start um, posting some family vlogs. Like, the whole point of the RV, too, is, like, we're going to get the RV, and we're going to be driving places, but we're going to, like, stop at cool places um, on the road and, like, make a video. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, words are hard. And so, uh, we filmed a video, we edited a video, and it's the first family vlog. So it's like, doing this, family vlog number one. So we're still a snowboard channel. In the winter, we're snowboarding. Uh, but when we do something with the family, we now have a family vlog counter. And so it'll be like, family vlog number two, family vlog number 15, family vlog number 40. Um, and it, it, we'll see what happens with it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be doing both. It's gonna be like John the Buckhouse doing the snowboarding. Oh my goodness! And Tommy and Benton's back flipping and ah, family vlog. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just another dimension to the channel, uh, and I think it's gonna be sick. And dude, Nelson has been coming in clutch every live stream for the past like seven live streams. Nelson, you're the man. The logo is literally his circle. His circle is the skiing logo. He says, profile photo, yeah, that's the word. 
His profile photo <laughs> is the skiing evolution logo. Nelson is the man. He's from Orlando, Florida. I don't know if he is truly from there, but he says, HOV land fun. Let's go. What is the HOV land fun? I'm assuming that's like to stay somewhere. Lane fun? Lane fun? How, what's the HOV lane fun? Nelson, I don't know what that means, but dude, thanks for helping with the fund and you're the man. I appreciate you so much, dude. Uh, Nelson has been an incredible supporter, uh, especially late season, dude, coming in clutch, dude. I appreciate uh, the love and support, bro. So thank you. Are you on Wi-Fi? Uh, am I laggy? Yeah. Am I on Wi-Fi? What am I on? I am on Wi-Fi. Okay. Am I laggy on you guys? My wife says I'm lagging on her phone. Let me know. If if we're lagging, let me know. Keep me posted. Uh, look on the bright side. You could go. You could. You could be losing more. Losing more. What are we losing? Oh, H O V means height. Um, what is that word? <laughs> high occupancy uh, vehicle. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Sean Roman. Dropping the knowledge. We're just just people trying to figure out life out here. Uh, it's Bicorn says PC, trash, mobile, and Xbox and PS4 good. <laughs> it's Bicorn putting out his opinion. Dude, Oven Raz, dude, what's up, man? How you been? Matt Lindley's in here. He says, yo, yo, yo. So last year, Matt Lindley took me, Bobby, and Roman out on in their camper. Uh, Matt and his wife, Courtney, took us out on their camper. We went to the sand dunes. And we went sand snowboarding, and it's super sick. You guys should check out the sand. Type in sand snowboarding Jonathan Buckhouse, and you'll find the sand dune video. Uh, and if anybody goes to that video who hasn't watched it, well, even if you have watched it, go back to the sand dunes video I made, snowboarding sand, and drop a comment, and we'll have a, I promise we'll have a really cool conversation on that video. It's coming, what, a family tradition? What you want to oh, and that's the cool thing about the sand dunes. Good job, Bobby. She's Bobby's keeping this conversation going. So Bobby and I were talking about, like, no matter what, we get this RV. The best part about it is that that's a guaranteed sand dunes trip to go sand snowboarding every year if we get the camper. Um, cause, cause she's like, she's like, she's like on the fence. So like, this is my vision. This is my dream. I'm like, we get this camper. We go make content. We go do this. It's gonna be great. And she's like, I don't know. Is it gonna? Is it worth the money? Are we gonna do it? The, 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 I'm like, we're gonna do it. Um, I was like, at worst case, we go to the sand dunes a bunch. <laughs> and if you haven't been to the sand dunes in Colorado, they're amazing. Do you have RV insure or or do you have do you have to insure RVs? I think that is uh, state by state. I think it's state by state, but it's very recommended. <laughs> we will insure the RV. That's for sure. Um, Allergies are killing me, by the way. That's why my eyes are a little red. That's why I keep going. I don't like eye drops. <laughs> and then Kevin, dude, with the five dollar donation, hyped. He's hyped on the RV. Bye, garbage truck. Can you say hyped? Nope, you can't say it. Dude, Kevin, thank you for the five dollar super chat, dude. Support in the dream, man. I appreciate you so much, bro. Dropping the hype in the chat, like literally dropping hype in the chat. Um, and then Nathan says, our family has rented two RVs. More space is definitely the way to go. We thought the Class C RVs are the most open. Class C. Does that make sense? Bobby's been doing a lot of the back end research because. Wait, what? He says um, he thought the Class C RVs are the most open, like spacious, open. I. So we're looking at a specific model yeah, or floor plan. The, it's called a travel trailer, and it's got. So you walk in the door, and to the right is a queen size bed, and then right in front of you is a kitchen table, and then the kitchen's on your left. And then when you turn, like walk down from the table to the kitchen, in the back are two bunk beds on the right hand side. So there's a bottom bunk, a top bunk, and then the bathroom. Like that's the model, that's period, that's the one we want. Um, everyone, every RV company out there makes them. You can get like like cars, you can get like the base model, the mid-level, and then the high. Um, and we're thinking maybe the middle level, 
on the RV. We, we'll go with what we, we uh, need to or what we think is appropriate. Uh, usually the middle level isn't like just you're wasting money, but it also comes with more for what you're paying. And it's usually like a thousand more dollars. Uh, we're not trying to get a used camper because water damage is a big deal with campers. Um, and this is something we're purchasing for the future that like we're going to be using for years with this channel, ideally. So if we get it new, the longer it will last with the channel. And that's kind of the plan. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, weekend warriors, they might, they, they should know their stuff. They're weekend warriors. Uh, check out, keep your day dream or keep your day dream on YouTube channel for RVing. Check. Can you write that down? What? I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, I'm going to pass it to you. Keep your, keep your day dream. Uh, it's a channel on YouTube for RV. The Weekend Warriors to told us, and if they're Weekend Warriors, trust me, they know their stuff. Can we get some carrots in the chat? Interesting, El Sacker. Do you like carrots? Uh, you know who loves carrots? Yes. You want to color? Okay, here. Here, why don't you color that one? There you go. What? You're welcome. Uh, you know who loves carrots is our new puppy Shelby, who's not a puppy anymore. She's four, almost five months, and she's almost bigger than Shadow. She's huge. She's five months. She's five. She's five months, and she's huge. And um, she downs carrots. She's a, she, loves carrots. she loves carrots. And apples. We don't give our dogs people food other than like vegetables. Carrots. Carrots and apples. That's what Bobby lets the dogs snack on. Beer Mountain Bike says, seriously, let me know if you want to ride together. Dude, I'm down for like a group mountain bike ride this summer. That'll be so fun. Uh, Will says, yo, Jonathan, I'm a huge fan. No way, Will. Stoked that you're a huge fan, dude. Thanks for jumping on the live stream. Anyone else lagging? Okay, is the lag still happening? No, that's when I told you. You know, that sucks in my hotel, so it might be just me. Awesome, dude. Sorry about the bad internet. Waffles or pancakes? Are we starting this conversation here, El Stacker? We taught, we settled this last night on the live stream. We own Tommy, and we proved Tommy wrong that pancakes are way better than waffles, and that's that's where this conversation ends. Pancakes crush waffles, but uh, French toast is superior. We've all agreed that French toast trumps all. It's like rock paper scissors, but if you played French toast, it would beat everything. Miles is here. What up, dude? Pancakes, uh, high occupancy vehicles, <laughs> aka carpool. Okay. Bye. It's the easiest bound on the toll lane. Oh, okay. Dude, Joker's here. No way. Joker says, What's up, family? Dude, Joker's claiming we're a family. I love it, Joker. That's sick. Uh, let you skip traffic in busy cities. All right, Joker. Dude, you guys. You guys are saving the day or teaching me stuff. That's why I want to get a camper and travel, travel and learn things. You want to get the shit, like the scratchy American. Oh, yeah. So we want to get, so I keep sending Bobby these and she's like, stop sending to me. You can get maps and there's, I want to get two of them. I want to get a state map and I want to get a national park map. And when you go to the national park, you like scratch it off. Or if you go to the state too, you scratch the state off. I want to do those. I want to get those things. She's like, stop sending me those. I'm like, I want to do it. Like we did this one, scratch it off. We got to go to this one. It's right over here. Scratch it off. I like accomplish. I love accomplishing things. I'm addicted to accomplishing things. And so if I have a map that I got to scratch off, I'm going to want to scratch it off. Oh no. We st it's by corn said you're so laggy, but that was probably a while ago. I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind in the chat. Just watch sandboarding video. It's so sick. Kaden, let's go. I'm so that you like the sandboarding video. Austin said, maybe not channel appropriate, but last time I took my camper out, we went out to some hot springs in the middle of nowhere, and there were a bunch of nudists camping up there. Um, in Steamboat, you can go um, to a hot springs and... <laughs> Uh, if you go at night, people don't have to wear clothes either, uh, which is a funny experience. But uh, the, the, a bunch of nudists camping up there. Just the thought, I started laughing because the thought of a nudist, a bunch of nudists um, camping just made me laugh. <laughs> well, 
only good thing is the RV. The only thing that's a plus for the RV for me is when we go down to the spring. So my wife is excited. So we go down to Colorado Springs. That's where our family's at. But a bunch of them don't have places for us to stay. So when we go down there, we're like sleeping on couches or kicking Bobby's little brother out of his bedroom. But now, if we're going down to Car Springs for the weekend or we're going down there for uh, a couple days, we can bring the RV down and stay in the RV. Uh, just park it in the, the parking lot, which will be a good time. We can also then make content down in Car Springs, which could be really cool as well. Um, I'm really excited too because when me and Bobby get in a fight and she kicks me to the couch, I technically Shut go up, sleep in the that RV. Doesn't happen. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a good joke, though, it's right? Not a good joke. That was, really that was a funny joke. It's a it's a marriage joke. That's a joke for all the married people out there. It really doesn't happen though. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Because I can't sleep in the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I want to sleep on the couch. Uh, Matthew says, if the RV yeah. is rocking, can we still come knocking? <laughs> Yeah, because it's going to be Roman rocking the camper. Roman. He's going to be jumping up and down and running back and forth. And Shelby's going to be freaking out. And Shadow's going to be like, get me out of here. Shadow's going to be like, what the heck? Um, Roscoe said, just wanted to say hi, but I got to go. Dude, Roscoe, thanks for jumping on, dude. Sorry, I got to put chapstick on. My lips are a little. It's been hot up here. Wait, what is it? Who said what? You go down to the, all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Who? Nick. Nick. Ask the dealer for 10% off if you advertise them in your video. Ooh. It's not a bad idea. Like, add it in. Like, like mention. Like, oh, yeah, do this, whatever. Like, I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> not a bad idea, Nick. We'll see. We're going to be negotiating. The goal, Bobby's going to play bad cop. I'm playing good cop. We're going down there. I'm going to be like, I really like this camper. And she's going to be like, nah, I don't like the price. I, there was the other one at the other place. And I'm like, but it's right here. We can get it now. She's like, ah, I don't know. And the guys will be like, I'm really good at playing bad cop. And hopefully tie, smooth Bobby on. Bobby's I mean, really I good. I your sunglasses on. Yeah, Bobby's really good at bad cop. Come on. Joker says, having more space is better, especially if it's a bad day outside. Being stuck in a small trailer gets on... Uh, the nerves after a while. Trust me, I have one. Mm -hmm. Good to know, Joker. Dude, so that you have a camper, by the way. Uh, yeah, I could definitely That's see so that driving some uh, driving one person absolutely crazy. I know I'd be like, oh, oh nasty outside. Computer, get some work done. The best. Uh, yeah, hopefully, I when we go down to um. Fruta with the camper, which will be a big place where we're taking it a bunch. He's going down to Fruta for like a week, trying to get as much wakeboarding in before my arms fall off. Um, Grand Junction's right next to Fruta, and that's a big town or city. It's a city. It's a big city. It's got a mall and stuff like that. So on those really bad days, it's just like, yo, Bobby, grab your face mask, go check out the mall. So what? So rude. So rude. So rude. Uh. I want to know what you're laughing with. Who said it? It's, it's Bighorn. It's Bighorn? Mm -hmm. Bobby Daddy is always bad cop 24 7. That's why she Daddy is so Daddy good Daddy. at it. Uh, got him, joke. Daddy awesome, Bobby. <laughs> Bur burning Bobby. She says rude. It's Bighorn. I have a 1960 North Star, only like 50 in existence. It's tow behind, but it's awesome. Dude, it's Bighorn. So you got a camper, dude. Spree campers are good. That's what ours is. One big, so Matthew uh, has a sick camper. One thing he has though, we do not want is the pop outs. Like the, where it pops out and half of it's like a tent. Um, we don't want that at all. Not saying yours isn't sick, Matt, but that's something we talked about. And we're like, no, not for, the not for the little dude. I just see him like with a pocket knife. Yeah, see, he laughed. He laughed about it because he's going to do it. Uh, Weekend Warrior said, LOL, I ordered stickers today too and said, uh, have Roman draw a snowboard on the uh, the envelope. Let's go. All right, Roman, you think you can draw a snowboard? I, it's wor Weekend Warriors. We'll get that. We'll get that made. You want to draw a snowboard? Camper more during one or two, so having the pop outs. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, with the pop outs, we 
there's a chance we'll be using this during the winter. So, um, here you go. Draw a snowboard, okay? Okay. Draw a snowboard. Um, there's a chance that uh, we'll be using the camper in the winter, so we don't want it to pop out because we want it to be as warm as possible. Uh, then, dude, Greg just jumped on the live stream. What up, Greg? How's the war zone going? We played Plunder the other night together. I had no idea what I was doing, but Greg understood what to do with Plunder. RVing is so much fun. You guys are going to love it, and so will Roman. Robert, you're going to love it. That's Bobby's dad, by the way. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of trips with Bobby's dad once we get the RV. It will be a bunch of fun. A base is giving a hundred dollar discount on season pass renewals for 2020. Russell, that's Sunday's topic. Not nah, joking. Uh, yeah, dude. A, ba a basin just announced. I know they said forty nine dollar credit, and the pass is I think forty nine dollars. So I think that's where you're getting your hundred dollar discount. So yeah, you can get a season uh, a basin season pass for four hundred bucks right now. Gonna have to snag mine. Um, so so bummed we didn't get to do late season a basin. That's why we have an a basin pass was for the late season. We'll see if they reopen. Um, I mentioned it a little, little earlier in the live stream, but uh, Oregon just announced that all ski resorts can reopen. They just have to submit their plans for reopen. So um, summer camp is happening. Like the Oregon said, their, their ski resorts can open. So um, a big thing, and it's a good thing we didn't do a kids summer camp because right now, I don't know. I don't know everything. I don't, I, you can't do kid anything kid oriented right now in most states. So in Oregon. Like High Cascade is a kids camp, so they can't run because it's a kids camp, and so like that's why schools are closed and like nurseries are closed and stuff. So it's a big deal when it comes to kids. So the cool thing is we have an adult camp, and so it can still happen. So if you want to come to summer camp with us, it's the top link in the description. We already have four. I'm pretty sure it's four. It might be five people already signed up, ready to go to camp. Check it out. Come snowboard with me and Tommy. Our goal is we're gonna teach you to be better snowboarders. Like we actually are allowed to teach you. How to be six snowboarders will cover uh, carving, free ride, and park. Mainly park oriented, uh, but the whole thing is going to be sick. And uh, so the other thing is that's that's going to be sick for you guys is Bobby and Roman won't be out there with us during those weeks. If we do both weeks, we might just do one of the weeks, depending on how many people fill up the camps. Um, but uh, so we'll go ride all day, and then we'll hang out a little bit after. And we're still going to vlog it the whole part of the experience is like every day we're gonna make a vlog you guys gonna be in the vlogs it's gonna be the coolest thing out there we have one more snowboard co coach to work with us as well and um i'm just really excited to to offer that to you guys and the fact that four of you have already taken taken advantage of it and the fact that it's gonna happen because oregon is allowing their ski resorts to open up like i'm so hyped and that's in july by the way midweek july so come to snowboard camp it's gonna be sick the premier snowboard camp held by Jonathan and Tommy. It's gonna be the sickest thing ever that okay. to drop on the internet. Uh, Ark says, stop by to say hi, gotta go. Get back to work. Peace, dude. Ark, have a good time at work, dude. Thanks for jumping on. The most serious question ever asked, is hot dog a sandwich? Nathan, dude, hot dog is not a sandwich. It's got its own bun, which means it lives in its own category. If it has its own thing, Daddy, what's up? You want to see the skin bun? You want to see the snow cat? Yeah. Okay. If, Ooh. if the hot dog was eaten on bread, like literally like a sandwich bread, then yes, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Elstagger says, Daddy. it's looking like Jayco Hamming Bridge, light, knee, light trailers, you might like, uh -oh. like it. Daddy, what? The package. Oh, you broke it already? <laughs> yes. I just handed it to you. <laughs> Is that funny? Yes. Okay. There you go. Go show mom. Ma. Mom. Mom, look. Let's break it, Daddy. Let's bike says, you don't restrict this video because that's, that thing's, or right, the thing's JB's. What? You don't restrict the video vid because J the things yes. JB said. I'm confused on that one. Sorry about that. Uh, you said our new house full movie theater and guest room. Oh, Matthew, dude, we got to come check out the new crib, dude. I'm excited. When did you start YouTube? All right, Caden. That's a great question, by the way. Season one, day one is technically when we started YouTube. Prior to that, I would post a season edit every snowboard season. 
that but that wasn't to like do YouTube that was like, oh, I made an edit because I love snowboarding and I love making snowboard edits. I'm just gonna put it on YouTube. So that's what we would do is I, or that's what I would do is make a video, put it on YouTube. And I mean, I had no subscribers. I was just putting a video on YouTube. But season one, day one. So there's a playlist called season one, path to 130 days. Like we started off being like, we're gonna make a snowboard vlog. And our goal is to go snowboarding 130 days in one season. And we're gonna try and create a snowboard audience. And hopefully one day this could be our job. Now it is my job. My little brother didn't really enjoy the YouTube and snowboarding every single day. So he went his own way. And um, it's what we do for a living. You can literally watch the the progression from season one to where we are now. If you really want to know the how did we get to this seat today and how we do snowboard YouTubing for a living and all that stuff. Just go check out the videos. Like watch season one through through four. We're still in season four. Um, it's gonna be a good. It's it's it'd be a good time. It's gonna be a long ride though. There's a lot of videos. No way! Osvaldo jumped on. Did we match in? Are we matching today? Uh, what's up, everyone? So when uh you making the cherry red evolution? Bobby likes the idea. Dude, you can't pull Bobby into this. I also need a. A photo, Osvaldo, of the, the gold shirt. I don't know if you sent that I to me like yet. The cherry, I really do. We got it. We we need to look up stickers because we are or, or, uh, vinyl because we're talking about we're gonna be redoing Roman's room because he's becoming a bigger child. Um, so he's gonna get from his little infant bed to a twin size bed, and we're gonna, so we're like when I you know I said we're gonna do the family vlog thing. So like one of the videos we'll probably do uh, when that time comes is make a vlog where we remake Roman's bed we go print vinyl stickers and stick them on his wall like monster trucks and garbage trucks and kind of like theme out his bedroom it could be really cool it could be really fun um and yeah so we gotta buy some vinyl for that and uh we'll look into the cherry red I do like the cherry red Osvaldo like, likes that go that that uh that uh custom merch you the know the only thing that we can do the cherry red in is um a fire truck oh yeah we could do the fire truck and cherry red Token Toe says uh, a guy that worked there used a vi used to videotape people <laughs> at Strawberry Falls and Steamboat. That's interesting. Oh, tell me, tell me. Oh yeah, about the fire truck. Yeah. Is your uncle Tyler a fireman? I love how he wants to talk to you, but you're talking to Yoshi. Yeah, he tries to shush me so he can talk to me. I'm going to help my wife cook super late, y'all. All right. All right. See you, Austin, dude. Thanks for helping out the wife, dude. She'll appreciate that. I was about to just drop another super chat, by the way. I mean, yeah, I got this shirt. Just haven't had time to rock it. Been busy with work, dude. I believe it. But I'll send you a pitch once I got the chance. Thanks again, mate. Dude, no, thank you, Osvaldo. Valdo. You've been such a mad supporter of the channel, dude. I'm as, I was happy to make that happen for you, dude. So thank you for all the love, support, dropping super chats. And guys, once again, if you want to support the channel or get me to go directly to your co uh, comment, drop a super chat. Um, or check out the Amazon wish list, which is a cool thing. It's a top comment. I think I've pasted it before. I'll put, paste it now. The Amazon wish list is a cool thing because uh, when you drop a super chat, uh, YouTube takes their cut, but if you wanted to check out the Amazon wish list, you can snag something for the channel and YouTube doesn't take their cut. And this is stuff I'm buying for next season, period. Like this is the stuff, this is the gear list that I'm getting for next season. So um, if you snag anything off of there, then 100% of your donation goes to the channel, goes to supporting the dream. So uh, cool, cool plan, cool idea. All are uh, thought of by Bobby. So thank you, Bobby, for helping with the Amazon wish list. Or... She definitely showed me how to do it. Cause I was, I'm, I got an Amazon. I'm like, I'm so lost. I'm better at eBay. I do most of my stuff on Dude, eBay. I love Amazon. Trust me, Bobby's gotten better at Amazon uh, since this whole quarantine thing. Also, ordering stuff on Target. Someone stole my tower last time I went to Strawberry Springs. Oh no, Russell, that's awful. Uh -oh. No one stole our towel. Yeah, we didn't get towel jacked. Thankfully, and there's still snow out there and it's kind of cold, so I'm happy no one stole it. Nathan said, quick lesson from my driver's ed class. Look for any ads on websites that bring RV prices down. Lowball the dealership and you will get 
a better price than the dealership makes the initial price. Nathan, dude, thanks for the tips. We, we've definitely been watching our like, how to get the cheapest RV price YouTube videos out there and all those. We've been researching a lot and we've been researching since the start of this, the ski season. Actually last summer when we were like, yeah, I think we need to do this like RV thing, so. Um, it's Mother's Day weekend, and of course we're going RV shopping. Oh, it's yeah, it is Mother's Day. Bobby always has this fun way to, like, when something's happening for Mother's Day or her birthday, it always lines up with something that, like, not for me, but for the channel, for something. So, like, for her birthday, we went to Telluride. Well, we also went to Silverton, went heli snowboarding and all this sick stuff. Um, and now for Mother's Day weekend, we're going to go check out RVs. But we're checking it out on Friday, and Mother's Day is Sunday. That's a whole gap. It's not like we're going on Saturday. It's the weekend, buddy. It's this. It's not the weekend until after 4 p.m. Can I tell you something? I'm in quarantine. She's so excited for Mother's Day weekend. Uh, as Bicorn says, I'm sorry, Bobby. You're awesome. I was messing around. Take it so. Just shouted out you on my uh, story on Instagram. Let's go, R Star. I I need to draw. Do my drawing tonight. It's gonna be so good. I'm excited. I think I can do. I think I can do a good job. I trust you. Our star is doing an, a drawing contest on her Instagram. Check it out if you want to get smoked by me because I'm gonna draw the coolest Marvel character of all time. You really, you really are good at drawing. I just don't know. You kind of, you're probably a little rusty, but I'm definitely rusty on the drawing. I'm a, I'm a good drawer. I just haven't done it in a long time. You used to make me stuff all the time. Oh, I used to draw Bobby the coolest, like, cards. So, like, instead of buying a card, I would, like, draw it. And then you I... didn't have money. Now I don't have time. I didn't have money, so I had to draw it. And two, I don't have time to draw anymore. <laughs> in summer camp, can you... Uh, in summer camp, can you come Big Snow in New York, the indoor ski resort? Also, should mountain bike at Mountain Creek. So Roscoe, we are definitely going to Big Snow in New York. We're not gonna do the summer camp there because we'd have to get their permission and I don't think they'd do that. But we're coming there to snowboard and I'll achieve you guys posted. We're trying to meet up with Greg and have the sickest time in that uh, indoor ski resort. They just need to open, so hyped. Dude, Russell Brown got the $10 super chat, who is also a member. Uh, Russell has been an, an incredible supporter of the channel. If you wanna become a member and get a monkey next to your name, the Evolution Monkey, um, it's the right next to the subscribe button where, or where the subscribe button would be. It says join. Um, you can join there. If you don't have that, let me know. I can throw the link in the chat. But become a member. Be, you get the monkey next to your name. After a month, you be, evolve to the bigger dude. And then you become the skier, then the snowboarder. And then after a year of supporting the channel, you become full evolution. After two years, you're gold, full blown gold evolution. Like this t shirt. Um, so yeah, sorry. Become a member if you want to support the dream. Russell. <laughs> Ten dollars, RV hype, dude. I'm hyped right now. I'm thinking of moving to Steamboat Springs full time, dude. I hope you make that happen. That's a sick goal. Um, what was the biggest challenge, or what is the biggest change in living Mountain Town as opposed to staying or to stay in Denver? Okay, so I grew up in Colorado Springs, not Denver, but close. Like it's close. Anyways, the biggest change from when I went lip went from living in a big city to a mountain town and this now granted this was 10 years ago it's definitely different now but also um i was a, i was a kid i'm an adult now i'm a mid-adult i'm a i'm a i'm a professional fun haver um the the biggest thing is so when i first moved up here there we had mud seasons they don't really exist anymore but a mud season is when the ski it's the time between the ski season and the summer and then the summer and the actual ski season. So it's like that that section where it's like, yo, you can't really snowboard anymore, but there's still snow everywhere and you can't do anything in the summer. And then that section of, yo, it's like the end of the summer, it's starting to snow, it's too cold to go outside and do anything. Those were the two mud seasons. So you would move up to a mountain town and you would either lose your job during mud season, you'd lose your hours during mud season, um, and then nothing was going on. So nothing, like back in the day, Breck would have no restaurants open. Um, nothing was happening around town. It was a ghost town. Now, uh, Denver is like loves coming to Summit County. So we don't really have mud seasons anymore. It's like always happening, always doing stuff. So mud season kind of disappeared except for this year. Quarantine gave us an early mud season. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of nice. It felt like, felt like going back in time. No wind in the County, everything closed. I was like, dude, this is like, 
I'm revenu- reminiscing right now. Um, but I think the biggest change you'll find is, especially if you're moving out by yourself, is you're probably going to be very broke. It's expensive to live up in a mountain town. Um, that was my hardest challenge was like going to the grocery store to buy groceries for two weeks with $20, like things like that, like just getting so scrappy and trying to figure out how to just go snowboard all the time. I shared a bedroom with another dude for three, my first three years up here, I shared a bedroom with another person and just been able to be up here to snowboard. Um, and then as I was lived up here and as you live up in your mountain town, you become more of a local, you meet the right people and that will show you the cheap rent, uh, that will, um, help you get a better job. You'll get better jobs and you'll make more money, things like that. So it's going to be difficult at first, dude, but if you're willing to put in the work, you're re- willing to like want to snowboard all the time, it's going to work out, man. Now, Summit County is different than um, Steamboat. I don't, I don't know I'll, I, everything for Steamboat. You know what I'm saying? I don't live in Steamboat. It's similar, close. Well, there's a good chance we're going to end up riding together because Steamboat's sick and I love going to Steamboat. And then, dude, Aaron with the $5 super chat. Let's go. Uh, buy me one too, homie. I need an RV. Yeah, you do, Aaron, so you can come to Colorado, post up, and go snowboard a bunch. Uh, Aaron's a legend, by the way. He's been streaming on Twitch every single night. Check out Aaron's Twitch. It's... I don't know. Aaron, plug your Twitch. Put your Twitch in the chat. <laughs> uh, he's doing a giveaway, by the way, a $50 giveaway. Just straight up 50 bucks if you want that money. Go check out Aaron's Twitch. Yeah, you can go. Aaron, can Bobby apply for the giveaway? I've applied three times. <laughs> he gives you money all the time. <laughs> he's, like, he's a mad supporter of the channel. Aaron, you're the man. I did not, I did not enter the giveaway. But uh, what are you going to do with the $50 if you win? Not spend it on you. <laughs> uh, are you weekend. Are you going to come to Park City next year? Peyton, yeah, we'll probably make it to Park City next year. This was the first year I went to Utah and didn't go to Park City. And I had a blast. Not saying Park City is not fun, but Brighton, Snowbird, uh, Snow Basin were all incredible. And I'm really happy that I had that experience in Utah opposed to Park City. I mean, obviously, I'd like to do Park City as well um, because Park City is super fun. Uh, JB, I miss snowboarding. Dude, George, I feel you on that. And even though I get to snowboard and we're doing like rails and hiking and building stuff, dude, I miss like classic snowboarding like a lot i miss getting on a chairlift i miss showing up to a terrain park that's built and ready to go and i don't have to rake or shovel or salt like we we kind of cleaned out my car today to get ready to go down to car springs and possibly pick up the camper bobby goes do you got enough salt i have like six containers so salty so much salt in the fj is the bratwurst a hot dog no a bratwurst is a bratwurst and they are amazing Dude, Sean Rome at the ten dollars super chat. Coffee for Bobby Mother's Day weekend. Mm. Yeah, you, you got some Mother's Day coffee money. Yeah, good. I need it. She needs it, especially for the drive. She usually does like like a tradition for like going down to Colorado Springs is like we usually get Bobby like Starbucks coffee for the drive down. That's because I'm usually the one driving. It's usually because she's the one driving. Because I'm was up editing all night. I'm tired. Sometimes it, driving is dangerous when you're always like i was up till 2 30 in the morning editing last night at seven so like but when you're on that type of schedule and you're grinding a bunch the worst thing you can do is to go on a long drive especially on a nice sunny when you're like cold up here and you're driving down into warmer elevation and the car is just getting toasty and you're just oh. and you just whoa that's not even funny whoa could you do, do that i know i do it it's dangerous and that's why i have you drive that's why, yeah but that's why we usually bring my car in that's why i bring my car this time yeah you can't bring your car because we might be leaving with a camper might might why be leaving with a camper it? experts only <laughs> what, baby? bob or aaron dropped that five dollar super chat said bobby he said bobby <laughs> got material in finally for your cup now it's time to make it so aaron makes these super sick um like coffee cups yeah like you're like like to go coffee cups and he made this really sick one with like corinthia mount snow me snowboarding um and then green bay packers on it the thing the cup is super sick it holds so much liquid by the way this is bot- i tried to drink all the water in that cup aaron and i couldn't do it i didn't put co- not- i haven't put coffee in it yet you know yeah. i'm not a big water drinker 
Is that yeah, what you're gonna say? But Aaron, dude, thanks for another five dollar super chat. You guys, you guys are incredible. I can't wait for my cup. Oh, dude, she's hyped. Up. She loves cups, and that's an understatement. Bobby <laughs> loves cups. I love cups. Every day, she's like, "Can I get a new cup?" I'm like, look at this cup. Look at this cup. It's on sale. I'm like, it's on sale. It's still fifteen dollars for a cup. That we have, have and you have a hundred fifteen dollar cups. <laughs> Uh, Matthew said, I quit. Video popped up in the middle of my feed last night and I freaked out thinking you were done with YouTube. Dude. Dude, so funny. <laughs> it took me a second to remember what, what was happening. So Matthew, dude, I punked you with a video from last year. So if you guys are not a subscriber from last season, uh, so in season three, we, we like did what, like about a month of the season, we were like at 30 days of snowboarding. And I didn't, and, and that whole time I was doing snowboard YouTube for a full time. I quit my job. It was, it was like one of the like scariest things I ever done. Yeah, you quit your job like a month. A month before the ski season, I quit my job. Cause, Cause uh, on his, on Roman's,